It was a planned call, but in the midst of that call, my youngest daughter, Jory, got on the phone. Hey, Jocelyn. Hey, Jocelyn. It's Jory. You could hear a break in a trance. She would look. She didn't know what to say unless somebody else pointed her to get back on track. Now, he's trained these girls not to go against kids. And Gerard had confirmed it. Gerard had been telling me for a few weeks. What's good? Oh, gang, gang, gang. So tonight was day three, final day of R. Kelly, the documentary part two, The Reckoning. And so, um, I'm going to touch on the first and second hour, as I always do. Um, so, the first hour was based on uh, Jocelyn, Joycelyn. Um, they showed the dad and the sister going to Trump's Towers, trying to see her. They haven't seen her in three years. Um, it shows the dad... Um, really disgusted with the comments and the reviews from social network it shows her younger siblings really looking for her and praying for her and waiting for her really really sad and then they kept touching on the gail the gail interview um, where we saw r kelly they made a bunch of memes with that when we saw R. Kelly stand up and girl face, and I'm tired of this, it's been 30 years, and I don't know, and he was just going off. But the crazy thing is that through all of Joycelyn's interviews, you always saw somebody like prompting her on what to say, what not to say, from the hand signals of her shirt to the robotic speeches to even her phone calls she kept being repetitive i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy so uh we all kind of knew that she's not happy and um we just pray for her rescue and then um i just want to touch on asriel asriel's parents um, they look broken up. They look like they're going through divorce or are divorced behind what happened to Azrael. And um, I think the hardest thing for me is that even though you sexually with someone, even though you think you love someone, or you're being controlled and all these things. I think the worst thing is losing your dreams behind it. Because everyone wanted to be a singer or wanted to be a professional something in the music world. And after dealing with R. Kelly, they no longer have those desires. They no longer wanna follow their dreams. They no longer wish to be singers. And I think that was the hardest for me because no matter what you're going through or you have been through, it should never stop you from following your dreams. So I just pray that once they get healed and they get um, therapy and counseling and everything that they need to rebuild themselves, that they're able to go back and follow their dreams because it's never too late it's never too late so that that's um something really 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 sad um according to the news r kelly is facing up to a hundred years in prison Ooh. 
never to see the light of day again. And um, I feel bad for him a little bit, but it's justice for what has happened. At the same time, I feel like he should not be the only one going to jail. What about all these security guards? What about all these managers? What about all these people that knew about it, that did absolutely nothing but defend this man and allow this man to do these things? I think those people need to be in jail too. So y'all just comment down below and let me know what y'all the glue to the family i didn't really realize that until this whole situation happened and i saw how people could really just fall apart without Israel. she really had like a light to her that just kind of made people want to be around her i still love her and i want to know that i'm still just protecting her and i i only want the best for her and i'm willing to fight for her no matter what Social media is probably one of the brutalest places that anybody can ever have experience at, especially when you're fighting a celebrity. Me and my wife have been labeled from some of the worst things. Like we don't, we, we, you. All right, y'all. So the second hour of R. Kelly, The Reckoning. Um... It was deep, it was deep. And it was surviving R. Kelly, the way they ended it. I, I really liked that. That was really nice. Um, man, these women are scarred for the rest of their life. All of them are remarried or married or happily married. All of them are in the medical field or some kind of field other than entertainment. All of them have kids or most of them have kids. But what was shocking, because I've been thinking that Dominique turned gay, turned butch. But she said that she's pregnant. Oh my God. And she's expecting a baby girl in January. Oh man, that touched my soul. I was so happy that R. Kelly didn't make her gay. I really, really thought she was a straight butch. And she's not. And that was beautiful. Congratulations to all of y'all survivors, man. All of us deserve a round of applause. <laughs> Women are some of the strongest creatures on the planet. You hear me? The strongest. Not physically, but mentally, emotionally, the strongest creatures on this planet. Not only do we push out children, we endure so much. We endure so much. Not only can our bodies carry a whole child for nine months, not only are we not supernatural strong able to push these kids out but we also can endure sexual assault emotional abuse disconnection of family oh my god the list goes on and on as a woman as a mother as a daughter as a sister as an aunt we play so many roles in this world we are the backbone to men we are the encouragement the love the wow we're just special we're special the older and older I get, the more I'm like, wow, 
Wow. We are something special. You know, to just the world wouldn't be nothing without us. Because we are the real. You hear me? The real. So congratulations to you, Dominique. Oh man, they ended the video with Asriel reuniting with her family. They did not show us the reunion, but it stated there that she's back home. But home is not the same now. Mom and dad don't look like they're together. Um, but they are very happy to have Brain as real home safe and sound. So the only one that they still showing to be under R. Kelly's control is Miss Joyce Lynn. And I am like, I don't know what to think because even with Wendy, she was talking about how there was this whole site that Jocelyn did um, exposing R. Kelly. Then they were talking about how she did go back home. I mean, I don't know what to believe right now, but I just pray that all those girls are back home and living a normal life and staying away from abuse. And Lizette Martinez, she shocked me with her closing statement. She said that she didn't wish R. Kelly's jail time. She didn't wish him destruction. She just wanted for every girl to be free. And that she will forever love R. Kelly, she said. She said she will forever love him. Wow. I don't know what he says to these girls, what he does to these girls that they are so in love with him. Or is it like a brainwash in love? I don't know, but they're so in love with him because most of them said they will forever love him. I thought that was crazy. So he's emotionally scarred. It says over 48 women that are documented. There are so many that are not. So some of them said it's karma for him. And some of them say it's just that time. So this is the end of surviving R. Kelly. Um, personally, I know that I dated two celebrities in my life. Um, the first one, I really wasn't really like trying to be with them or into them or groupie or none of that. But it was like, I felt extra special that he wanted me. And I let him chase me a little bit. And then um, I did give in. But when I gave in, it was so special. It will be something I will remember for the rest of my life. But I did feel like because he was a celebrity that I was like supposed to sleep with him. It wasn't like a natural thing like I want to now. It was like, oh, he wants to, oh, well, maybe I should, you know. And then with the second celebrity I dated, um, he was definitely not my type, but he was like, he had that New York vibe. He was from New York. He took me to eat a few times and the conversation was always like reminiscent about New York. Us living in Atlanta now. And um, it kind of made me just give him what he wanted. Um, and we did it for a little while. And of course we didn't last. But um, I think you never forget the celebrities you're with because they're celebrities. But when you're with a celebrity, you want that person to value you the way you kind of value them for being a celebrity. And so girls get emotional and we want to be loved and appreciated. And we want them to look at us like 
you're my one and only when they're celebrities and they're with everybody. So, I don't know. I don't know if I would ever take it back. Like, do I regret it? No, I don't. I had a lot of fun. Um, a lot of great times, a lot of great conversation, but I kind of get it. Like, you kind of feel like you have to do things sometimes when a man has a certain authority or a certain figure in, in society or I don't know. Um, but it does make you feel special as a girl, like all the girls in the world, you chose me, you know, so it does make you feel special, but it's not really special to them because it's how many counts I could get, not, not who you are as a person, not I want to know you from the inside out, you know, so, I mean, you live and you learn, you know. But I'm so glad, I'm so, so glad that they're living their best life now. And I'm, I'm just, Dominique's ending, even though she did not speak a lot. And even though we will never really know unless she's ready to tell. But Dominique, out of all of them, has impacted me the most. And I'm just so happy for her. I'm just so happy for her. So, um, I love you guys. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification. I know if y'all new to my channel, y'all better press that bell so you know when I post. And tomorrow, I will be at the barbershop. And we will be talking about power. So y'all stay tuned. My channel is just not just videos of things on TV. But um, it's a family channel. We do pranks. We do games. We do outings. We do everything on this channel. And if there's any ideas that y'all got, please comment. Let me know what y'all want to see. All right. I love y'all. And I'm out. You know, same thing with Michael Jackson. Like, you know, I still hear Michael Jackson records. That's right. I still hear records that R. Kelly wrote for other artists on the radio. Are we going to meet? Our daughter's son. That's the least child. And the records that R. Kelly Lady wrote Gaga. Are we going to meet all the other big artists, Faith Evans, you know? Are we going to meet Jay? Are we going to meet Vivian? Are we going to meet, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Are we going to say to those artists, why don't you take the